Hello everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I'm going to do a flower mani and this started out on my Facebook group, um, Gel Polish Addicts. We wanted to do a collab and so um, we decided on flowers and we all got together, well whoever wanted to be in on it got together and submitted a picture. So I will be showing you those pictures and it was a flower theme. If you're interested in joining our Little Gel Polish Addicts Facebook group, um, I'll leave the information in the description box below. It's a lot of fun. We post pictures. You know, you can post questions on their sales, discounts, videos. You know, it's really fun. So, um, information will be in the description box below. Right now, I'm going to show you what we were doing for the flower mani that was posted on our Instagram page. And um, I'll show you how I created my flower look. So let's get started. I'm going to be using Wave Gel's Jazzy tonight, Maiden of Grape, uh, the base coat, the No Wipe Top Coat. I do have a discount code in the description box below for Wave Gel and where you can purchase it with free shipping to the United States. I'll be using Bundle Monsters Amethyst Stamping Polish and Dance Legends Purple, Bundle Monsters Monocle Stamper and Scraper, and I will be using this starter kit that I got at Walmart, and it's Queen. I'll be using this plate. I might try out the stamper <laughs> to see how well it works in this video as well, but um, I'll just definitely be using this plate. So let's get started. I have two coats of Jazzy tonight and two coats of Maiden of Grape on. And next I'm going to be applying the liquid latex so um, that it protects my nails for when I do the stamping. Now we'll just wait for that to dry. Okay, I'm using this plain plate for the first time, so I'm going to peel off the blue. Wow, this is a really nice plate. Look how thick that is. Oh, how sweet is that? Okay. My viewers wanted me to see how well this little stamper stamps, so we're going to try this out. Now, I'm also going to be using like a new technique when I stamp, and what that is, is I am not going to put stamping ink over the entire image especially because it's never even going to fit on my finger. I'm just going to put the stamping ink over the image that I actually want to pick up. So I'm going to try to get this little flower right here. So I need to put the stamping polish on that one flower. Then we'll pick it up with the stamper. Wow, <laughs> this little guy picks up really well. And then I'm going to stamp it on my pinky. Perfect. I love how that looks. Okay. Then we can use this some more today. Pick up the same image for my index finger. This is a really nice plate, by the way. The grooves are really deep. It is amazing. Okay, that did a pretty good pickup, and I'm just going to actually gonna get rid of part of it. There, and 
I'm just going to put it down right here. Oh, I like how that looks. Okay, now for the rest. Okay, for my thumb, I think I'm going to do right here. This time I'm going to pick it up with my Bundle Monster Stamper. Put the image down like this. And for my middle finger, oops, <laughs> it's going to clean it again. For my middle finger, I think I'm going to go right here. Okay, and then one more. The last one, we're going to use amethyst. Oh, perfect. I've never used that one before. Oh, I like that. Now that the stamping is done, we're just going to remove the liquid latex. I like to do that on uh, the paper towel because the little bits of nail polish can sometimes get all over the place. And then when the image is completely dry, I'm going to add the No Clean top coat and um, cure that and come back. Okay, this is the finished look. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.